everybody. Today we're going to be making these super cute hand painted mushroom hoop earrings. Of course you can paint whatever you'd like on there but I think the mushrooms are just extra cute. Now for supplies. So of course the first thing you're going to need is a hoop earring. One that's pretty thick so that you can draw on it. And then you'll need your paint markers. Of course you can use regular paint too but that would be super hard. So I'm just gonna be using these paint markers. And then to seal the paint on there, I'm using clear nail polish. Um, you could probably use Mod Podge or any other sort of sealant, but this is just the only thing that I know where it's at right now. Everything else is in storage. This is kind of random, but you'll need something to hang it on to dry. Of course, you can just like hold it while it dries because the paint markers dry pretty fast or even lay it on its side. But I'm just deciding to be extra, I guess, and hanging it on, I'm gonna hang it on this thing so it can dry. So that is optional, but let's get right into this. So I'm gonna start with the red paint marker. And of course you can see my reflection in there, so that kind of sucks, but you're just gonna draw your little mushroom shapes. They're just, I'm just doing kind of like rounded triangles for mine. And then just kind of eyeball how far apart you want them. Okay, so now I have all of my little mushroom caps drawn on there. I'm gonna set it to the side and wait for it to dry. And then after that first layer has dried, you might need to go back and do a second coat. Okay, so now all of our mushroom caps are dry. So we can get to the stems and dots with the white paint pen. So you just draw a little line under your mushroom and do some little spots and then you move on to the next one okay so now oops i forgot to do stems on these two okay so now I'm gonna set them off to the side and let them dry. Okay, so now all of our paint marker is dry. I'm gonna take my clear nail polish. But like I said, you can use Mod Podge or any, to the like the sealant you use for your other projects, I suppose. So is what I do is I just do enough to cover the mushrooms and like a little bit over the mushrooms, but I don't want to put too much on there. I don't think there's really any specific reason for that. I think that's just what I try to do. Okay, so now I'm gonna hang this up to dry and then our earrings will be done once it is done drying. <laughs> 